up our baby cow. We have a vet appointment right after we pick him up. So we're gonna get him checked out, just make sure everything looks good before we bring him home. And off we go, you ready guys? Before we start, I just wanted to say that my ideal is for a baby animal to be with its mom. That is what I will always prefer, but there are lots of reasons that babies end up needing to be bottle fed. Either they lose their mom or their mom doesn't accept them, she just won't take care of them. Some farms actually bottle feed their babies for um, disease prevention because some diseases can be passed through milk. Other farms Dairies, for example, they are using the milk, so they do separate the babies. Our cow, Rosie, won't be having a calf this year, so when we found out about this little bottle baby, we decided to bring him home. But the practice on our farm, whenever possible, will be to keep babies with their moms. So then would you recommend putting the apple cider vinegar in the colostrum as well? I wouldn't. Uh -uh. I would okay, just, just, just in it. milk. Yep, just in the milk. All right. So it's possible we have two baby cows in the back of the car instead of one. I couldn't just leave the other one there. He was so tiny. He was a twin and his sister didn't make it and he's drinking out of a bottle so she thinks he'll be totally fine but he's he's like half the size of the other one. He's just really little right now. Well we can, we'll take care of him. <laughs> Puppy or quarter collie. Oh. <laughs> We just arrived at our vet and I only had an appointment for one baby cow but hopefully they won't mind taking a look at two. We're gonna get them checked and tested and whatever we need to do to make sure they are healthy to be with our other animals. my big helpers. We're at the feed store. We need to get a few different things for these guys. Kai, wrong way. Hi, man. This way. This room is just off of our kitchen and this is actually a whelping box that we built for our dogs, but it seemed like the best spot for these guys. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. The little teeny tiny one is getting the smaller dog coat. The bigger calf is getting a bigger dog coat. This is a 65 centimeter or 26 inch and this one is a 20 inch or 50 centimeter. And they're both waterproof because these guys will be going outside pretty soon. At some point here in the next couple weeks, I will have to band these calves. They are both boys and to turn them from bull calves into steers, they will need to have their balls removed for lack of a better way of saying that. This is used to open up that elastic band and then it'll go over the scrotum of the calf and then snap down not snap down that sounds terrible it is kind of terrible but we can't have bowls so this is necessary this tightens down and cuts off blood supply to the scrotum and it will just eventually go numb and then fall off so yes that's what that is for you could also have your vet remove them that is another option I got electrolytes to add to the calf milk replacer the lady that I got the calves from said that 
apple cider vinegar works just as well. So I will probably be using that, but the vet recommended this. So I got this also just in case I would prefer to go with the apple cider vinegar. The smaller calf is struggling just a little bit. So I want to make sure I have what I need in case we run into an issue. I also got an iodine spray. Um, this kills bacteria and I assume that she did this to their umbilical cords when they were born, but since I forgot to ask, I got some of this just in case. I also have baby goats coming, so this will be useful for that. This is colostrum from a Holstein cow. This is absolutely necessary for baby calves, baby animals of any kind, actually. The colostrum helps get their digestive system going and does all sorts of important things. More on that another time, but colostrum is necessary. This is for the smaller calf. The larger one has already had colostrum several times. This is milk, just regular milk from a Holstein, and I will be giving this to the larger calf as his, his next meal. This here is the milk replacer. It's upside down. <laughs> calf milk replacer. Uh, what I have heard is that it's really important that the protein in the calf milk replacer comes from dairy rather than a plant source because the plant source ones can give them some serious digestive issues. I'm going to be looking for an organic version of this, but none of our feed stores in the area have an organic version. So I am going to go with the recommended one for now. The total for everything that I got was about $190. If we had thought ahead, we could have done this for much less. These were way more expensive than I would have liked, but um, I really need them, especially for the next couple of days. So I don't have time to order them or anything like that. I just decided to get what I needed, but this could be done for less. This little guy has got tight muscles on the fronts of his ankles. It's making it hard for him to stand. And I did know about it when I agreed to take him. I also checked with my vet about it and it, those muscles should loosen up and then he'll be just fine. But he is really small and I just want to, shh, 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 it's okay. I just want to make sure that he stays warm. Hi, look, it fits. It fits perfectly. <laughs> really weird but I am actually using a paper towel to wipe wipe the little cow's bottom and as soon as I started doing that he started going poop and he's passing the black meconium is the first poop that needs to come out of a, a baby a human baby cow baby whatever it is it's um it looks like he hadn't passed it yet pretty important Mommy cows will lick the baby's bottom to help them go to the bathroom. It's the same with goats, and I've done that with a baby goat before, but I um, I just assumed it was similar with cows. But um, this guy, I don't know, he seems like he's not doing as well as he could be, and he's not taking a bottle for me. So let's see what we can do. I need to give him some more colostrum. Well, we had a bit of a rough night with this little guy. I was pretty worried about him because he was having trouble standing and he just, his eyes were kind of glazed. He yeah. just didn't look good. But this uh. morning he's still with us and he seems to be a little bit stronger and clearer. So I'm gonna try and give him a bottle, see how he does. Cutie Patootie over here is doing so much better today. This morning was still a little bit touch and go, but he's standing. He just took his first little bit of a bottle standing up, which is awesome because, you know, he was like lying flat drinking before. And this little guy is doing so well. Hey there, cutie. He's like, uh, where's my bottle? Oh. <laughs> you get another bottle here pretty soon too. Look at you. Hey. Hey, come here. 
Well, hello, little one. Oh, oh, you can do it. Spread your feet out. <laughs> that helps. Nice work. This is huge. This is the best I have seen him doing. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for this. If you'd like to follow along with more of our adventures, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help support us. You can also follow us on Instagram at The Young Homestead. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>